Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 on our moon run. In the last episode, we've killed Edric Thorn and his Apostle of Merkur. So now that I believe officially Act 2 is done. And what, uh, what now remains is to go to Act 3 and learn that our Dream Guardian is Emperor. So let's camp, let's go, I guess, talk with people in the Moonrise Towers and proceed further. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain, bound by lost Nethery's magic, with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Aren't you? It is good to savor the moment of victory. But pace yourself. Our fight is just beginning. When we met, I was licking my wounds. An old bear with her leg caught in the hunter's snare. Now I've slipped free of the trap and rediscovered my claws. It's time for me to hunt my prey. You have a nether stone, and you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Glad to be there. Falling foul of Catherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Denthalan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders, as well as give them. Seems like a good moment to talk. A curse lifted. The dead three allied once more. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Correct. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods shudder. It's... I 
back. Like your mind wants you dead. I swear, I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Right, and I feel I saw some hands, so let me stop with her. So I mean, everyone is here. You're here. Good. That's good. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and. They haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. I'm surprised that Molly is missing because uh, she wasn't kidnapped. We didn't do that assault on last night in. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But. It's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. Why, yes. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. All right, uh, so I was rudely interrupted. Let's go. Beholders and bandits, but never darkness itself. I dare say we could part all the seas of Tyrell if we so wished. And this is exit. Wait. Stop. 
game is supposed to show me. Probably Isabel and Dame. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Do you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. It hurts. 
Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Alright, this spear is okay, but it's not for Shadow Heart. Alright, let's rest. As the game wants us to. Gives in and surrenders his find to you. I've been lied to my whole life, and I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that, a part that Shah denied to me. Indeed, but the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me? We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Alright, anyone else? Can we leave? The curse has been lifted. The lands cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this at least, you have triumphed. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. But 
patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be with you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you. I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Standing, probably not. This is the ambush. He goes nothing. Night. Let me quickly check if someone has to say anything special and then proceed. Tonight I've done my roundabouts. Let's get going. Get, let's get ambushed. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Right now, your resolve feels firm. But there is no knowing how you will feel when the moment comes. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Help 
me. Point of attacking them. Victory awaits. Thanks. Hold 
them back alone. Hold your horses. Resists all attempts to shatter it. Uh, you know, I didn't want to shatter him. Suddenly, they survived. Time to strike. Bloody 19 I see and I have bloody 60 70% chance to hit them. When I have 90 AC, it's like enemies have the same amount. I wonder if this is worth the cost.
Isso. This one. Another mess. Why the fuck not?
don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. It's obscene to owe my life to a damned geek. No more lies, no more tricks. I will have answers. You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of Mind Slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. the absolute I was a thrall like any other but I was fortunate I broke free and started a new life in my old city I sustained myself on criminals unglamorous but there are plenty of them rarely missed and they fueled me while I did my work I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman we formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course, they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Indeed, his hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. Rather them than potential future allies like you. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. Orpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Shastil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlacheth declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacheth wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince, and if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change, my free will returning. 
I followed the feeling inside and found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was imprisoned. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, you would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. You are already more a lithid than you realize. It has improved you. You seek to reverse an inevitable process, a process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so would only impose limitations. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Nope. I understand. Let us hope then that your present self will be sufficient to deal with three gods of death and a giant magically enhanced elder brain. But in case you change your mind, Look after it. Use it when you're ready to evolve. You or your allies. It has vitality enough for you all. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Catch it. 
break. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's leave this place and probably finish for today. Yep, the clamp killed the other ones. would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlacketh our ruler. The first Vlacketh of many. It is Vlacketh 157 whom my people now call Queen. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlacketh I. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlacketh's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies and the living weapon that conquered our geich slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. What about him? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies, a lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlacketh spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. 
So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlacketh's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlacketh in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as geich, tadpoled husks in the Empress thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Very well. All right, anyone else? So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? All right. Uh, I think we finished for today. A little boring episode, but that is the way of the game. The transition from up to work three. Only one major battle. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.